Hello everybody, this is the No Cap Recap, The Curse of Oak Island, companion show Drilling Down episode called Driven to Discover, originally aired right before the season 12 premiere on November 12, 2024. If you missed my recap of that premiere or any other episodes, there's a link to my Oak Island playlist in the upper right. Let's get into it. Do, 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 do. Previously. On the Curse of Oak Island, people have been looking for an incredible treasure for 229 years. Matty Blake does his normal Causeway walk and talk intro, but this time at the end, Jack and Alex say this is drilling down right before the show opening. Filmed approximately halfway through the filming of the main show, Jack and Alex take Maddie around the island to give some teaser sneak peeks, some of which are fully revealed in the season premiere that immediately followed, and some that won't be addressed until later in the 12th season. The first stop is Lot 5, where the structure that started off as a small round feature keeps getting larger as more excavation happens. In addition to Laird, Fiona, and Helen, there are two new archaeology assistants. Ethan and Todd. Laird says he was not at all expecting it to be as large or in the shapes they have uncovered. He explains that it has been designated as a special space, which requires archaeological supervision of the work. And Jack adds that it being uncovered this way gives clarity as to what layer slash time period any artifacts would be from. Fiona breaks down the layout, saying that it was built in at least two or three different time periods and that this section is the oldest and is square or rectangular. Towards the west, this area is much better constructed with smaller rocks packed tightly and has a very nice curve. The semicircle on top appears to be part of that same addition. It also has this designed airflow opening at the bottom there. Laird thinks the entire structure was buried before the discovery of the money pit, which Maddie says could mean that the original depositors could have been living there while they built the works on the island. Maddie says that if they keep at it, they may find an artifact that tells them who was there first. Alex says they may already have found it, and will go into that at their next stop. That location is Cone E, the bottom boulder of Nolan's Cross. Alex recaps the archaeoastronomy and the theory suggested by it. Nolan's Cross is aligned to a star cluster, and the date that it most precisely aligns with is in the 1200s. The group most likely to have the knowledge and manpower to do such a thing would be the Knights Templar. The paved area in the swamp and a high silver content well on lot 26 have both been carbon dated to the 1200s too. They also recap the finding when the boulder was lifted of a concretion with hairs stuck in it that we do not have carbon dating on or DNA results of even after the season premiere. Alex promises answers of links between Coney and two other places on the island soon, and that does indeed happen in the season premiere. After Maddie wonders who would have been on Oak Island after the Knights Templar, Alex says that the answer may be in the swamp, which is their next destination. In the car, Alex tells that they have a new find in the northern part of the swamp. The trio joins Tom, Nolan, Billy, Gary, and someone new in the swamp. Katja Drayton, daughter of Gary, is a metal detection expert in her own right and will be a part of the team since there are so many different operations happening at the same time. Katja says she loves the swamp, that it's a great place and never lets you down. She was not in the season premiere episode. 
Matty did not realize that he was standing right above what they took him to see. He took a few steps into a hole to get a better look at something we don't get to see yet. He says this is undoubtedly a man-made structure and Tom confirms. Matty says that the viewers will have to wait for it to be in an episode and also that it is the most incredible structure he has seen in the swamp. Gary says, and wait until you see the finds that Katya and he have pulled out of there. Finds that point to the William Phipps theory. William Phipps is the discoverer of the Spanish galleon Concepcion shipwreck that was carrying South American treasure back to Spain. He was knighted after taking a bunch of the treasure to England, but a second trip yielded far less treasure than expected. The theory is that he buried some of the treasure on Oak Island. For the first time that I can recall on the show, Matty says that his excuse was that the shipwreck had been picked over by locals. They have been investigating this theory over the last two seasons. After finds in Lot 5 have the same metal composition as artifacts from William Phipps' birthplace. His partner, Freemason Andrew Belcher, was spotted in Mahone Bay with one of Phipps' ships. Around the same time, Phipps returned to England with a lighter-than-expected amount of treasure. Jack calls the structure some type of vault, and Alex points out that the swamp contains all different dates, including 1200s for the paved area and late 1600s, which would be Phipps' era for the Eye of the Swamp. The vault... The Swamp at all and Katya do not make appearances in the season premiere. As a reminder, the Stirling Down was filmed about halfway through the normal time spent each year on the island. Next up is the Money Pit area, and Maddie asked about the garden shaft. Alex said it's still full of water, so they do not do any exploration in it, but that they have other exploration going on. Recapping this drilling down after watching and recapping the season premiere, which I posted first, I am noticing that the area surrounding the garden shaft is cleaned up from the way it ended up after the season premiere, and that some of the area is being used for caisson storage. Interesting. The presence of caissons mean that rock equipment owner Vanessa Lucido and her crew are back on the island. After putting on the required safety gear, the trio joins members of the team at the monitoring station under the tent. They've decided to go with 7 foot diameter caissons this year because the 10 foot ones were overlapping with previous caisson locations and there's no need to re-excavate that. Dr. Spooner explains that the water testing is leading them to new structures. Surveyor Steve Guptel says that the circle in orange here is where Rock is setting up to put a new caisson down. It is seven feet away from the C1 spot that Charles Barkhouse picked years ago. He further says they did a lot of homework on C1 this year and that there is something very deep at that location. In 2015, the team found a 20-foot-high chamber at a depth of 170 feet. Matty says he is thinking there will be at least three caissons this year, the one about to go in as of this filming, one in the Baby Blob, and one in Aladdin's Cave. Matty says he thinks the fans will see treasure soon, and Alex says that if Matty follows him and Jack to the lab, he might see it sooner than he thinks. As promised, the lab is the next stop, and Emma reveals that she has been spending the winter building a database of archaeological finds off the island so that they can gather more context for things found on the island. The best example of this is the William Phipps birthplace artifacts that were sent to the island for testing, which is how they had that information to match finds on Lot 5-2. As far as the promised treasure, there is this cut coin that is found by Gary in the premiere. Laird says they never find anything cut so precisely, so he thinks that it was some kind of official payment or government involvement. 
they don't go into too much detail, but that detail is in the premiere. What is said in this Drilling Down episode is that the coin was minted before the 1795 discovery of the money pit. Of this other coin, Emma says only that the composition is quite old and the shape is irregular. Alex says there are a few explanations for how that coin came to be on Oak Island and that most of them prove that Rick is correct when he says that there is an incredible story there. Alex further says, when you find out what that is, I think you're going to be amazed. And of course, you guessed it, not in the season premiere episode. The third item discussed is the conglomerate, as they call it, last season. Concretion, that they call it, this season. It was under Cone E and found when Cone E was lifted. This, too, is a tease with Moya saying there are matches from different soil samples on the island that Maddie will be very excited about, and that is in the premiere episode. To conclude the drilling down, Maddie meets Rick and Marty Lagina in the war room. Maddie asks them if they have an indication about how the seasoning is turning out. And Marty responds that the group is called the Fellowship of the Dig. And so far this season, they have found plenty of things that make him want to dig for treasure, he adds. They discuss the Lot 5 soil samples, previously found to match soil from deep in the money pit, and a few other things, but there's not any new information. When Matty asks about the vault structure in the swamp, Marty says, ask me again in two months. The drilling down episode concludes with Matty saying the curse of Oak Island starts and Rick and Marty say now and point to the viewer. There is a link to my recap of the two-hour season premiere in the upper right, and there will be one at the end of this video as well. I'll be posting these no-cap recaps of season 12 episodes late Tuesday nights as they air, as well as continuing to do retro recaps of the season 7 and 8 episodes I have not done yet. All of the other episode recaps are in my Oak Island playlist. I'm also doing retro no-cap recaps of seasons 2 through 4 of The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch. Seasons 1 and 5 are all done and are in the Skinwalker Ranch playlist. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Sempre avanti.